for reminders. Not for orders. We'll jump in and then um, let's see what else is going here. You can add your perspective as, as she's able to join. So welcome to uh, the Codex panel. My name's Shannon, also known as Sari, and we have our expert guests who we're going to introduce just in case you somehow avoided them the whole weekend. Um, but the intent of this panel discussion is to talk about what I refer to as the Codex. And actually, I'd like to start off with a question of, did I make up that word, or is that what everybody else is calling this work? Never heard it before. All right, I think I made that up. I think I watched the guild too much. Okay, so I mean, okay, so what, what do you refer to this work as? The encyclopedia. Okay, and do you see this as a direct replacement of the current big white book? The big white book was a different thing, it's just a companion. Okay. You know, with history, the encyclopedia is going to be an encyclopedia. Excellent. So that's what we're going to be talking about. So that's not what you're here to, to talk about. If you want to hit people with swords, it's next door. I'm sure you'll be hearing them throughout the hour. Um, okay, so again, we will have our, our expert panels um, introduce themselves and um, the work that they do in this area. Maria? Hi, I'm Maria Simmons. I worked for Robert Jordan for many years and I'm currently working with him, with Brandon, Harriet, Allen on finishing the series and then we're doing an encyclopedia. Yay. And I'm I'm Marvin Loxley. I park cars for Bandersnatch. <laughs> 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 no, you know. <laughs> Alan Romanchuk. How did you pronounce that again? Because Romanchuk. Romanchuk. CC is like a CH. <laughs> <laughs> we can have a spelling clue at the end. <laughs> um, and I think just kind of to set the understanding, I mean, I think that most of it, oh, sorry. top button. Sorry. Top button. <laughs> top button. Top button. Top button. Um, I think a lot of us, uh, you know, know and, and respect a lot that you guys have been doing a lot of the research. Can you explain how you divide the research currently or how you, um, We'll be dividing it the encyclopedia if that's any different. Kind of Organic. Random? Yeah. Organic is the word. Organic. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it historically. I mean, Jim had his own set of notes initially, and uh, and Maria came on and did work. Organized the notes because he had lots and lots of them disorganized. Yeah. Then you realize it could use me, that give me a list, has so and so ever met so and so. Um, what does the baby feel when it's being born? Stuff like that. And then Alan came on, and that went to him. Um, you know, I'm he still was, trying to figure out how a baby is born. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, yeah, and, and uh, yeah, because Maria had so many so many responsibilities at that point, I wound up taking a lot of the questions. So the, the, the way it would work was, uh, well, back in the old days, Jim had these floppy disks, and he'd type out you know, a lot of questions, and they'd be sent upstairs to me, and I'd shove it in the machine and start answering the, the questions for him. And sometimes they were very easy to, to answer, sometimes they took days of, of digging around to, you know, enter, it was a lot of fun. I mean, it was like writing, uh, writing little essays on really fun topics, really obscure topics. And so between, or among all of us, we wound up having a, a pretty large uh, computer file, or set of files, uh, about a lot of the questions that deal with the Wheel of Time. So now our job is to really start organizing it as, as an encyclopedia. And we have questions for you uh, uh, before the end, if, if we may, Go ahead. Oh, uh, regarding that. Go ahead. Yeah, I, if oh. we wait, we might never get to it. But let's, let's see. Oh, yes, absolutely. So, Harriet, would you like to introduce yourself? And Hi, I'm Harriet here. McDougall. I'm the editor of The Wheel of Time. And I unwisely signed a contract several years ago with Jim to write the encyclopedia. And <laughs> so it will now have Maria and Alan's names on it as well. As far as the origin story for the encyclopedia, was it 
was there an inspiration for it, or was it just like a natural progression that you knew that you had to do it after this? Well, I think the origin was um, my past as uh, an editor. With the eye of the world, I began keeping a list of proper nouns. And in that first incarnation, I was so dumb, I didn't put chapter numbers on it, or page numbers, just things out of the book. And I thought I was picking the important things. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so then with the great hunt, I pretty much learned that lesson and began entering things with a chapter number, because obviously the page numbers in the paperback and the hardcover are different. And you'd have to grovel around in the chapter to find whatever it was, but that was pretty easy. And after a couple of more books, Blessed Maria came along, and Blessed Alan came along later, and I turned over, this was called the Raw Glossary, and it got big. It's huge now. Yeah, huge, and it's just proper nouns. I had, there, and when I was doing it, we had uh, certain things, names of inns, names of ships, animals. Mm -hmm. So if someone said, you're as dumb as a goose, geese. Yes, chapter so and so, um, to keep track of all the uh, animals and birds named and the varieties of trees and birds. And that's those, and then the Aiel grew this enormous entry. Tarred and hmm. the, yeah. yeah. Different clans and sets. Yeah. Putting everybody in there so that it would be easy to check in future and say, but Jim, you said, you know. <laughs> You started at IEO, not whatever it is you just wrote. <laughs> <laughs> so that's this this huge document. Well, you know, if there's a huge document, what are you going to do with it? An encyclopedia is sensible. Because it was an organizing principle for us, and therefore it should hopefully be an organizing principle for the fans as well. And has anybody ever seen the 11th edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica? Well, it's notorious um, as being not very good for facts, but they got, oh, Algernon Charles Swinburne wrote the article on art. And at one point I thought, wouldn't it be wonderful? We could ask people who are writers who like the series, Varen Sedai could write an article <laughs> on, on the histories. And, and actually, Nynaeve might write something about healing potions <laughs> that, that we could have personal <coughs> Um, hmm. Like the other edition of um, the encyclopedia, but that's too complicated. That's not going to happen. Oh. Yeah. Um, if you have questions, we want to make sure to get to help you as much as you're helping us. So let me throw a question out. We don't we don't have to answer it right now. You'd like to cover sure. the material, but start thinking about it. Uh, which is what you all would like to see in an encyclopedia. Well, there's three things for me. I, I would love more information about Native Legends. I mean, since we're likely never going to get a book about that, I mean, well, anything we can know about it, we don't already know, would be fantastic. Information about the fourth age, I'd love to. So we get some type of book to read such about it. And then, obviously, anything about the things that we don't get in the last two books, whether it's their treat, the entire treaty, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's what people are saying. Clothing styles of oh, yes. events. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, well, I know this is your domain, Alan. A map of the IEL waste would be great. Was, was it the mat aspect or the, or the map aspect or the yeah. waste map. aspect? Because right now, like, I try to guess, like, okay, it took X days to get from Roydion to Cold Rock Tolls, for example. Oh. But I want to try to figure out, like, what route Lanfear took to get to Roydion, how long it took, because that's, like, part of the plot, kind of. Yeah. So you'd like to actually see a visual of the other Do you see that kind of? the visual representation of this book being similar to the big white book with the no. full color glossy pages in it. Okay, can Better. you talk a little bit about what the actual book or books might look like? No? <laughs> well, yeah. All right. Yeah. This, thing, this thing is not going to go up from us to New York until a year after the final book by its nature. Um, 
No idea. It's got a little skeleton. Well, it's actually a big skeleton. And, you mm -hmm. know, we're working yeah. in between on fleshing out, but we can't finish it until. But, that, but that's part of the question to you all. What, what kind of format would you find most useful and interesting? Something more like the, the big white book or something more like a real encyclopedia, a dictionary, mm. whatever? It's real encyclopedia, I think. Yeah. I think it would be. I, I, I think it would be easier to um, get the information quickly if it was like an encyclopedia because everything's alphabetical, but then also um, grouping the, the uh, relevant things together. Yes, yeah, like the IEL and the Shanchan, the Ranlan, you know, that would also be a big, a big decision will be what gets a big group entry. Mm -hmm. And I mean, with the IEL, it would be, it's pretty easy to do, because we, yeah. we've got that mostly, and then we'll be done, we'll, there'll be lots of cut and tries on yeah. exactly what we do about that. That's it. The Big White Book does have a fantastic index, and I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do the index, but that, the first editing type job I did for Harriet and Jim was they sent the index and somebody had to go through and make sure it all matched yeah. and everything. And I did I've it. I've already used it. Did it well. Yes. Yeah. I mean, even to the extent that some of the pages are bold and so you know, you yeah. can find the content you're looking for. I really appreciate that. Uh, there, and then there, and then there. What, what I would like to see, and kind of, would be, I, I have, it's very old, falling apart, I have a Dune Encyclopedia. It's about day thick. It's an A to Z format, but it has not only does it have the listings, like let's say for IEL, but occasionally you'll see a little small drawing, like maybe a quarter drawing or something of, of maybe an IEL costume, and it gives a very brief descriptor about the race of the IEL, and then it will have little notes saying, "See also yes. the tribes. See stone dogs. See." Mains of the spear, da, da, da. I mean, like an entry on it. Right. And so the see also is a wonderful. Yes. They're the um, maiden strand. But it's an A to Z thing. So, I mean, yes, the index is very useful if you want to go to the very back and look up, say, Mains of the spear. But it also gives you other things that, that may be of your interest that you can cross reference to. And it's that would be incredibly, incredibly useful. Another good reference, that I haven't seen the Doom book, but the Star Trek Encyclopedia, if you're not looking yeah. at that, that's great. Yeah. It's yeah. wonderful. Alan has already said, I really like the Star Trek. It's good. <laughs> and, it, and it has the same thing with the little inset pictures, or even schematics, which and I'm a math person. Um, and maybe even the flags being correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blue? Uh, I just wondered if maybe it's out there, I don't know. But I thought the pronunciations in the earlier books were kind of confusing. So a lot of people say it in different ways. I wondered if there was going to be maybe a better pronunciation with the entry maybe in the book. Well, we haven't gotten that far. Yeah. We, we could certainly use the same, the confusing pronunciations there are. It seemed confusing are. to me because, like I said. It wasn't standardized not, like, in, like a like, dictionary. Yeah, you use a different, yeah, that's different yeah. system I, to tell yes. you how to say it. Look, because one, none of us are skilled lexicographers. Uh, one that threw me off was O-gear. Yeah. Because it says O and then it says G-E-A-R. And G-E-A-R spells gear. But I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be the word gear or if it was supposed to be phonetical and then you would say gear because gear doesn't yeah, get rid of the rules. Of gear. So it's like, is it O-gear or O-gear? And it's O-gear, but you know. Yeah, but none of us read IPA, so. I, I found that to be helpful, the way it was done. Okay. For the most part, I mean, that's just me, but I found that way to be more helpful than IPA because then you've got to look up what those symbols mean. <laughs> You yeah. can include, who does that? Right. Yeah. <laughs> you can include a DVD that will say it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they. Ha I mean, it's a, there's a few pronunciations that you know you click and it'll say the word. You can listen to it a hundred times so that you can actually get it in your brain. 